It's money to shit. Working that rich. Ballin' like swish. Dumb is wet like a fish. Pull, pull up with them sticks. Come fuck with the clay. We, we fucked on your bitch. She suckin' the dick. Jamal Heron looked like a beast today, bro. He need to stay yeah. at 130 and unify the division. Man, I'm impressed by what I no, see from no. Jamal Heron. But how can they put both of their best not fighters not. against each other? That's exactly what we said he needed to do, uh, D. Jefferson. He fought the exact yep. fight we said he needed to do. Ain't that what we said he lied? A hundred percent, he fought the exact fight. I'm and you, it bro, people up, gotta see that shit. They gotta see it, dog. <laughs> That's what I call a domination. <laughs> that's the, hey, yeah, man. Yeah. That's that's a clinic right oh, there. That was a great performance by Jamil Heron. Now, I want to see Jamil best... Heron versus Shakur Stevenson. Now, man, no, I'm really no, gonna watch that it. fight. To be Stevenson honest, is way it. Stevenson is way more active, way more work, or higher work rate. Better punch selection, way more fluent hard. puncher, speed, everything. I think uh, uh, Shakur would just wash him. And at the same time, that's not good for the camp. I think it should yeah, be like he said. Hey, you had your belt. If you want to move up to 135, move up. If you want to drop the belt and, and, and retire, it is what it is. But that, fight, that right there was a good comeback off of what just happened. And I honestly think that he could move up to 135 and fight with the likes of, 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 of the Fortunas and, and, and some of the other guys that are that are just underneath there because Devin Haney and and and, and, and Tio uh, Fimo in just a few fights are going to be moving up. It's going to be the next wave coming in that he's already been fighting. Tio Fimo's got one more fight left at 135 and that's Shippie Haney. DJ. What was uh, uh what was the uh oh I mean who who was favorite in this fight? Yeah, uh, slight favorite. It was uh, minus one ten for uh Heron and plus one twenty five for Frampton. So it was damn near even. Slight slight favorite was Heron. By the okay. bookies anyway. Nobody expected that. No, bro, that shit was fucking nice. Nobody though. expected that. I thought at least a a twelve round decision or maybe a late stoppage. But I didn't expect that. Yeah, I that was he. Exactly didn't want to run. I, I, I just needed him to get a knockout because I didn't trust him being in a final minute with, with other judges. That's and, good uh, for Bomac, too, because he just came yeah. off that loss with Hooker. So Bomac got his redemption. Like, you ain't going to be beating up all my damn fighters. <laughs> no, but you know what? That was a good performance by uh, 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 Hooker for Bomac. Uh, I yeah. think they were happy with that performance with uh, from Hooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Hey, but hey, Jamel Heron looked phenomenal tonight, to be honest with you. Now, oh, man, I want to see I want to see Jamel Heron versus uh, Shakur Stevenson now. Now, I, you know, uh, to be honest with but you, how's Jamel going to do that, bro? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying he's going to beat uh, Shakur Stevenson, but I think it's a good fight now. And I mean, what, what y'all think about Oscar Valdez versus Jamel Heron? Who you think wins that no. fight? No, I think Oscar gets it. I think Valdez. I mean, I think Valdez. I think this Valdez was a good showing, but it's the same thing. But I don't think that he can keep Valdez off as long. Man, Oscar's mm -hmm. a way better boxer and hits yeah. way harder. Those way shots he was catching yeah. from Frampton, dog, he not eating them fucking shots from Valdez. And Valdez going to mm -hmm. put mitts on him. So I will have to go with Valdez. Mel Heron's my guy, but no. I will have to go with Valdez on it. Shakur and Valdez, I think, beats Heron. I'm I'm sorry, fam. I think Shakur and Valdez beats him. The fight is Shakur and Valdez. That's the fight. Yeah. That's the fight right there. For sure. Congratulations, though, to Jamil Heron. What a great performance. He he stops um Carl Frampton. Dang, what a hard uppercut. That was a beautiful <laughs> uppercut. <was> nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, he was out, bro. He did, man, what? Oh man! Yeah, that I know Jamel nice. Heron had power like that. Man, he showed us something different today. But shout out to Carl Frampton too, man. He he put on a good performance. You know, he came to fight, but Jamel Heron was the better man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they say Heron is a warrior. I think Jamel Heron won a lot of fans over with that type of performance tonight. To be honest with you, I've been a fan of his. I told Julius uh, Ring IQ. We was, I was saying, man, he beats Burchell because he was like, Frampton nah, is retiring. And, and I Frampton said, is that, retiring after this. I heard, I heard, to be honest with you, I heard that uh, Burchell was actually ducking Jamel Heron. I seen Jamel Heron 
was calling out Burchell for years. And I heard that Burchell was actually ducking Jamel Heron, to be honest with y'all, from, from yeah. what I heard. I don't know, but I know that I felt like uh, I felt that Heron would beat him. See, the boxer, I knew that Burchell would have problems with a, a decent boxer. Like, this is why Valdez beat him. Valdez pulled some shit out the two shit. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't know that he had. But he showed boxing um, in that fight. And Burchell is not the best boxer, fam. Like, he's a strong guy. He hits hard, but he's not the best boxer. And so that's why I had Jamel Heron peg for beating him. Dang, so Car Carl Frampton just announced his retirement. Is that what he did? Sentos, did he? Did you say that he, he retired? Yeah, yeah, he's retired. He said he, he promised that if he loses fight, it'll be his last fight. Is that that's exactly what he's going to do? Dang, how old is that's he? Cool. Bro? I mean, yeah, he's been around for maybe like in his thirty-one or something, thirty-two or some shit young. like that. He's young. Yeah. Nah, bro, but you got to kind of, like, with, with Heron, I don't it. mind his retirement because he got to kind of assess his situation. Whoever got that sound playing, put that shit on mute, fam, because they, they don't fuck with his channel. But um, they, you got to assess his situation and look at the guys around him. He can't really beat these guys. He can't. He's not beating Shakur. He's not beating Oscar. He's not beating Tank. Like, he can't really beat these guys. So I can't really blame him for a, a retirement. He had a good career. You know what I mean? It's time, sometimes people don't know when to hang the gloves up. At least he know when to hang the gloves up. I like the sportsmanship, mm -hmm. though, uh, D. Jefferson. Yeah. I like the way that Jamel Heron uh, showed respect to Carl Frampton. And, uh, you know, his mutual respect in the ring. And one thing about Jamel Heron, man, this guy is a true champion in and out the ring. He, I remember he was in the Marines before he, he became a boxer. And his nickname think, the Fighter Marine. Yeah, the Fighter Marine. And uh, I remember he was actually on a boxing voice a long time ago. And I believe he he's actually subscribed to uh, Ring IQ's channel. And I think he's actually, uh, you know, he be in the chat. He's always in the chat on Ring he IQ. He subscribed to your boy channel, too. Oh, <laughs> you know, you, oh, for real? I, I didn't know that. with him behind the scenes, fam. Yeah, I talked to him before mm. on uh, Facebook a I long time ago, like I a year to ago. Him, uh, often, <laughs> actually. Harry's been one of the ones, bro. Uh -huh. Harry, Harry, one of them ones. He come and mess with the community, man. He yeah, come and mess, dude, he come mess with people. He a good dude, bro. What up, yeah. L Dog? What's good? Come on, hey, L Dog. Hey, what up? What up, H Money? What up, D Jefferson? The panel. What's up, that was a that was a hell of a performance from Hearing, man. You know, uh, I believe his lateral movement, his distance control. And his shot selection won him that fight, man. He was able to uh, keep here, uh, keep Frampton at range where he wanted the fight to be kept at. He was picking his shots well, such as that jab that knocked down Frampton and uh, the body shots. And uh, he used his lateral movement to uh, keep the fight where he wanted it in the ring. So that was a hell of a performance from Jamal Herring. Uh, he got a... He got a good win on his resume, man. Shout out to him. What you, what you want to see next from Jamel Heron, L Dog? What's next? I mean, you know me, man. I kind of want Loma to go down and stomp these dudes. So uh, I would love <laughs> to see that. But he's going to stay at 135. So for Heron, I mean, shit, fight Shakur. For sure. Shakur Stevenson, that's a good fight. Or even Oscar Valdez. So, I mean, I want to congratulate Jamel Heron right now. He had a great performance right in here. He knocked out uh, uh, Carl Frampton, stopped him, technical stoppage, and uh, he looked sharp, man. He looked like he's getting better and better. And I didn't I, – I mean, he showed me a lot of power today. I didn't know he had that type of power. You know what I mean? Uh, Eli, Zachary, give me your final thoughts on this fight, my brother. Come off mute, E. My Give me your final thoughts on this fight. He, dang, he fell off. Everything, no, he back. everything. You hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Eli, okay. give me your final thoughts on this fight. What you thought about the performance of uh, Jamel Heron? And what do you want to see next from him? What's next for him? For, for me, this fight right here, he, part, he fought the perfect fight. As far as everything that we've seen that he should utilize in his attributes and uh, 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 in his tool shed, he utilized him. 
We said use the jab. We said grapple and turn him when you when he get in close. We said use the one two. Work off the one two. It'll turn into the hook. Step to the left and right, and all of that. If it's all what he done. Yeah. So I mean, his corner, beautiful job. I got to give Bo Mack his credit. They kept him when he when he slipped up. You we saw those times where he let the fight get too close. We seen him come back out, like Cento said, and change it up because his corner was on top of their shit, and he stayed focused and stayed with his corner and listened as a fighter. So for this fight right here, that was a perfect fight. That's what I saw. As far as going forward in the future, I just would wonder how they would work that out with them being in the same camp with uh, Shakur and, 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 and him. I don't know if their trainers are the exact same, but them being in that same camp, you know, that's kind of one of those things where it's like, wow, but he's a champion. So I want to see him fight champions. So either he fights Valdez or either he fights uh, Shakur. Either one of them, I, I believe, beats him. So I would rather him fight in his camp and keep the belts in his camp. If y'all got to get it on, y'all got to get it on. The business outside of it, the friendships outside of it, you know, the business is the business. You're a fighter. If you're going to pass the torch, you might as well pass it in the camp, you know, and give it your best. You might you might actually shock the young gun, you know. So I think it's him and Shakur. That's what was promised. That's just what the fight is. Hey, I understand Shakur deserves the shot. But I, I, I really want to see Herring versus Valdez, man. I'm not drunk off of that Valdez performance. Uh, I, I think Herring, if he fights like he did tonight, he will pose a lot of problems for Oscar Valdez. Whether or not he wins or not, that's another thing because we saw Frampton having success on the inside. But the way Herring was able to pick his shots on the inside, it was keeping, uh, keeping Frampton honest and keeping him... Uh, from really unloading because he's worried about the counters. Uh, I actually think this this version of Jamal Hearing could actually beat uh, Oscar Oscar Valdez. I'll have to think about that fight, man. That That's a good fight. For sure. Yeah, but Valdez, great. man, he didn't want to fight nobody to begin with. They had to force him to fight. If he get that if he get that title, we won't see him against Shakur. He's going to run away oh, from him. Nah, nah, nah. That, let's, he let's let's right he wouldn't let's fight be honest, nobody I, before this. Bro, he fought good job. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He's calling out Shakur right now. He's calling out Shakur and Tank right he's now. He's feel confident right now. He wasn't before. You know I'm saying? We can't say this. Let's 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 now, let me say this real quick. I want to say that Shakur Stevenson been calling out Oscar Valdez since 126. And I heard Shakur Stevenson was his mandatory. And, exactly. Uh, Oscar, Oscar his, hold up, hold up, because Shakur is my guy. But that's one of those narratives I don't let go down, bro. Because here's the thing. Let's be reasonable about this. It's when these <laughs> young fighters have a bigger opportunity, man, we're not going to goddamn restrict them. It was no, Shakur is no one. Let's be for real about this. Shakur is on his way up the ladder. So if you have an opportunity to go in there and get with Bichelle, the hell with that Shakur fight. I'm not calling that a duck. He was going yep. up weight class. He did it to go fight Burchell. That's why he didn't fuck with Shakur, to go get the Burchell okay. fight. Dog, I'm say, not going to holler at him for that. Come on. Okay, now. I'm going to say this real quick. I remember when uh, Bob Arum was on Barbershop Conversations and uh, Fred Fred asked uh, Bob Arum why Shakur Stevenson never fought Oscar Valdez. And Bob Arum said because Shakur Stevenson wasn't ready. But what, what I do know is that... No, no. He, he said, me, he said because me. of Bill Chirp. Uh, he said Valdez and Bill, Ch Bill Chilt was a, a bigger fight. Yeah, but he also said that Shakur Stevenson wasn't ready. I was there. I, I remember. I remember Fred asked him, and he said Shakur wasn't ready. So with that being said, I know Shakur Stevenson been calling out Oscar Valdez since they was at 126 pounds. And on top of that, when uh, Oscar Valdez beat Miguel Burchelt in his interview, um, Oscar Valdez, he said Shakur Stevenson had been calling me out he said, I, I will make that fight. So he even said that Shakur had been calling for that smoke. So, you know what I mean? I'm not saying who's ducking who, but I heard some people say that, uh, you know, Oscar Valdez was ducking Shakur. But then I heard Bob Aram say Shakur wasn't ready. So with that being said, let me go to D. Jefferson. Let me get his final th uh, thoughts on this fight. D. Jefferson, great commentary. Thank you for coming to the panel once again, my brother. Oh, what's next for uh, Jamel Heron? And what did you think about his performance? Well, performance is great, bro. Great. And um, 
Like, I, I like to see fights go down the way I pretty much see them going down. The only surprise there was that he got the stoppage because I thought it was going to go the distance. But I thought it was going to go the distance like that, like what we saw. You know, he was just going to beat him up. But he did get the stoppage. So I think it was a great performance. Um, Definitely redemption from, from that terrible performance against a Kendo, who's not really a good boxer. So I think Jamel Heron served himself well tonight. Uh, as far as what's next for him, Again, I, I think that there may be retirement. Maybe not, because you know, you never know with these boxers. He feel he could feel really good off of that, but maybe he'll keep in perspective that that is still Carl Frampton, right? So this is not the other guys. It's not Tank Davis, Burchelt, or Shakur. That's still Carl Frampton. So maybe retirement may still be on the line. Um for many of you to be thinking, why would he retire? Because he already set himself up after boxing, bro. He's got a management company that he's owner of and it's already flourishing. He has fighters, and that's what he plans on doing. So, um, And a lot of these guys want to keep their faculties when they move on from the sport. Like I said, no one to hang the gloves up. They don't want to be talking like James, Tony, or Riddick Bo. They want to motherfucking keep their faculties. No disrespect to those guys. But So we'll, we'll just have to see. I, I doubt that he'll fight Shakur because, like, uh, someone alluded to that in here. They're in the same camps. So There's probably something that's not going to happen. Um, so we'll see, but I'm thinking retirement maybe, but appreciate you having me on age money. This was good shit, bro. Good, good, good stuff, bro. Appreciate Keep up the good you, work, man. brother. Thank you for the support. Hey, hey. Go, go ahead. Hey, I stirred everybody up before they let me finish. Because of that fear of mine, I just feel like Valdez should fight Shakur first and then let the vet get him a nice touch after this and then come back and whoever win out of, out of Shakur and, and them, then they unify. Bro, uh, Valdez, Valdez, uh, Shakur isn't the mandatory to Valdez. I'm pretty sure he's the mandatory to the WBO. I thought so he's the mandatory really, to both of them. No, no, no. He's number one contender in the WBC. That's not yeah, he mandatory. ranked number one in one, and he's mandatory in the other, but he's not mandatory. Okay. Yes. Okay. But either so way, he, one, he one should, and mandatory. He should really fight hearing. And if he wants to unify, he should unify with uh, Valdez. That's the best course of action if you want the money and the attention on the fight. You get yourself about, you can market the bigger fight, which is Valdez versus Shakur as a unification. Either way, the fight I really want to see would be Herring versus uh, Valdez, to be honest. Uh -huh. I think that's an interesting fight. I know Shakur deserves this shot, but I, I just think from a... a you know, a boxing uh, fan's perspective, that's a, that's a more interesting fight because I already know Shakur is going to beat both of them. Okay, let's go to Santos. Santos, man, what did you think about Jamel Heron's performance and what do you want to see uh, next for Jamel Heron? What's next for him? Well, I, I thought it was what I understand as a dominating fight. I thought it was a great fight. I thought it was a great performance. He did what I was hoping he would do is knock the guy out because I didn't want him to have any discrepancies over there. And uh, uh, I think, it, well, I, I don't, I'm not going to say what I think is next for him. I'm going to say what I heard, I thought I heard him say at the end of the fight. He said that everyone knows that um, he, he's, he's okay. He, he's going to move up if he doesn't fight Valdez. He said they want the fight and I'm okay with the fight. Uh, other than that, I'm going to move up. That's what he said at the end of the fight. So um, I, we'll see what happens. I don't think uh, there's going to be a fight between him and Shakur. And Shakur tweeted earlier during the fight that he wanted Jamel to win, but business-wise, he preferred Frampton to win. So Frampton didn't win. So I don't I don't see Shakur and uh, uh, Harrington fight, fighting. Uh, I think uh, Harrington, uh, if they have some meaningful discussion him in the Valdez uh, 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 team, I think that's who he's fighting next. For sure. So it sounds like uh, Jamel Heron, he wants to unify the division with Oscar Valdez. If he can't get Oscar Valdez, he's willing to move up to 135. But it sounds like he didn't say anything about Shakur Stevenson. So I know they got different trainers. I know Shakur Stevenson, he's not a part of that team like that. But he, he comes over there to get work with Terrence Crawford and Bo Mack. He goes there to get work, but he's not a part of that stable. So, you know, um, 
you know, I know they friends. I know Jamil Henry and Shakur, they all hang around around each other with Terrence Crawford. But, you know, man, friendship aside, let's make the fight happen. You know what I mean? And that's a great fight for Shakur Stevenson. He could become a two a two time champion in two different weight classes if he, if uh, Jamel Heron gives him that opportunity.